In the last episode, we tackled the ghoul champion in order to accomplish this challenge. For this episode, lads, we are going to be facing the skeleton champion, of which we must be summoned to his lairs in order to fight and defeat him. So for those that don't know, the Championscape is basically a cosmetic item where you've done this minigame where you're facing 11 different champions in the Champions Guild. Now, in order to defeat the 11 champions, you need to first find the 10 champion scrolls from different mobs around Gilinor. These champion scrolls are dropped at a rate of 1 out of 5,000, making this pretty rare to obtain. Like I said before, there are 10 different variations that you have to go after with their own combat restrictions depending on what you're doing of who you're facing so to go through them all there's the imp goblin skeleton zombie giant hobgoblin ghoul earth warrior joker lesser demon so those are the 10 you need to face and then you face the champion of all champions i'm assuming his name is leon and you face off to see who is victorious. And if you're just tuning into the series, we do have our wall of champions, obviously the champions that we have defeated, whatever, wall of defeated champions, I forget the name. Anyways, uh, we have the ghoul, the hill giant one, and the goblin one. We do have an imp one in the bank, but obviously we need to do a video on that one later on. But like I said, today is the skeleton one, so let's get into it. All right, so this is the gear that we're gonna be using. We're gonna be going with a full melee loadout, face guard for our helm slot, amulet torture for our necklace, inferno max cape, because we got a flex on everyone that we know how to do inferno, but we did just a sheer method. Uh, we got Rada's blessing four, abyssal whip, bando's chest plate, avernic defender, bando's tacits, ferocious gloves, primordial boots, and berserker ring imbued. I thought about either going with range or melee this time around, I wanted to go with melee. As for our inventory, we have divine super combat potions, that way we can just AFK having the max amount of our offensive stats, and then Ceridome and Bruise to replenish my HP when it gets low from either the skeletons hitting me, or from the divine super combat potions taking away the 10 HP, restores to get all that stuff back, cannon because obviously you want to use cannon during this, all these cannonballs max cape to teleport to and from where you need to go also i thought about this i could bring a room pouch full of the bones to peaches spell that way we don't have to bring ceridome and bruise but hey you never really know i'll uh potentially fix that in the future but for now we're going to go to our location so i'm going to go show you that so the location that i decided that we're going to go we're going to teleport to you know right now and we are going to go underneath this castle wall and the reason why i chose this location is that i was looking up kind of like champion cape guides uh, as to where i could go for each set of monsters and even though that this one is kind of outdated but anyways this is the best place to go for the skeleton it seems because if you go in this very small room for one very concise very close quarters and it's not multi unfortunately but but since it's all close quarters and everything easily you can hit everything in the room as you set up the cannon and you can just afk and just worry about nothing really because like these guys are level 45 it's just the cannon fires in the room you're good to go you'll wait have auto retaliate on and that's it that's the location that we're going to be doing this champion scroll all right you literally cannot make this shit up i just set this cannon up to go for this champion scroll and we are already done hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on let me uh let me swap over really quick just to show you and i i just got here i literally just got here and and i'm going to go play dnd right now so i was like oh i can get this champion scroll i'm while well, i'm waiting for dnd all right, so I'm readjusting the, the screen right now. And I'm gonna show you. 10 skeletons. And, uh, and, uh, oh, and, uh, th there you go. <laughs> I, you can't make this up, dude. You cannot make this up. Well, this is the place. Time to challenge the skeleton champion. Let's get into it. Alright boys, we got a very 
exciting fight. Full range gear, we gotta fight the skeleton. 1v1 situation, and we're gonna go right into it. Oh, okay, well, uh, here you go. Here's the, here's the scroll. I literally just did this like a couple weeks ago, and I, yes, let me in, Adam. Okay, yes, yes, go in, go in, go in. Oh, okay. Need range. Can I go in? Open. There we go. There we go. Easy, boys. Also, this one looks so cool. He's got 50 HP. That's not a lot. This is such a cool looking, like, NPC. I think that's what they got the samurai armor inspiration from. Also, that bow. That'd be kind of nice if we had that. And there we go. All done. <laughs> I mean, it's not supposed to be hard, boys. Like, it's, it's really not, but... Hey, there we go. We are done. And we got a new banner on the wall. The skeleton one. A banner proclaiming your victory over the skeleton champion. And we got to go to our chest of champions. And get a reward of a champion's cape. Or sorry, champion's lamp. Not yet. Not the cape yet. 2800 slayer and hit points XP. Very nice. Very, very nice indeed. And with that, boys, we are done with this episode. As always, lads, we need to thank our channel membership supporters, and again, that goes out to Z Kinzel, Parth Patel, David Bell, and of course, Trekkie Tech. That's it, boys, for this video. I'm Shingamuffin. I'm signing out. Please enjoy this outro.